Hey guys, what's going on? Tua Cruz here, checking in with another cycling vlog here in Nagoya, Japan. We're on our way home, so we're bike commuting home from a hard day of work. We filmed some videos in the city today, and now we're leaving Nagoya, heading east towards our home in Nagakute. So join along for today's bike ride, and we're gonna be cycling from the center of the city to the east side to the suburbs where we live. And by the way, if you wanna see some of our videos from today, we filmed a bike shop tour. This is Wise Road, the biggest bike shop here in Nagoya, Japan. So you can check out our shop tour video. Oh, let's cut over this way. We're gonna try and show you guys some new roads today on today's ride. So that whole building we were just riding by is actually part of Wise Road. They have a main building for the bicycles. Then they have a separate building for the clothing. So it's massive. We did a tour of just the bike shop area, but we've also filmed another video for the wear building. You can check those out. So we're downtown right now. I haven't been downtown Nagoya in a really long time. So it's really nice feeling to come down here and ride these downtown streets again. I used to ride down here a lot, but lately haven't been coming down here, mainly because of COVID and everything. But we came down today, enjoying the nice holiday right now. And there's lots of people out. It's actually pretty amazing to see how many people are out today. There goes the Uber Eats guy. And yeah, lots of restaurants still in business. So there was a Brompton right there. So you see straight ahead, this is the Science Center building. Really cool building here in Nagoya, really stands out. So we're gonna ride along some of the attractions on our way home. Try and show you guys before it gets too dark. But you guys mentioned you like these longer style videos, uncut, just showing you guys the full ride. So you can ride along on your trainer on your indoor bike, whatever, and join along in our ride. So right now is Golden Week here in Japan. Golden Week is like a week long holiday uh, for the summer as we sort of just, actually each day kind of has its own little mini celebration. But basically it's a time where most companies get some time off of work. so. I'm getting my first vacation time from starting my new job. I've been working there for about a half year now and we, my holidays are kind of all set. I can't choose when to take off work. I have to only take off holidays when they have their set holidays. It's one of the sort of downsides of working at a smaller school, but it's all right. I'm getting my break time right now. Here we go. This is the giant planetarium from the Nagoya Science Center <laughs> and it's a massive structure just really stands out as we're riding along this road here we go i'm not sure if this video will capture just how massive this structure is but we can ride right underneath it <laughs> and it's really cool it's a science museum and it's got the planetarium in there it's a really fun place for kids and there's a park nearby as well all right, and we're gonna loop our way back over here. I wanna show you one of the other main parts of the city. So we're gonna head over towards Sakai, which is the main downtown area where everything is. And you can see we are just loaded with bike parking on the side. All these places are packed. We're not going in anywhere right now. But yeah, really active. Cool town to be in. Always something going on. It's pretty exciting just to ride around like this. And yeah, everything is smelling really good right now. All these different restaurants. Ramen smell, fried chicken smell. Ah, making us hungry. <laughs> we probably shouldn't have came on this road. But yeah, I haven't been down here in ages.
So yeah, this is a fun place during the day, a fun place at night. Nice to come out, hang out with friends, get some good food, walk around. It's actually not illegal to drink in public in Japan, so you can technically be drinking and walking around on these streets, which I may or may not have done a few times uh, when I first came over here. We're gonna loop on this main road here and get off the pedestrian pass because you can see this is packed. So again, this is Sakai, the main center, popular downtown part of Nagoya. Oh. Sashiburi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Tunchan's always coming down here to film some walking videos for her walking channel. Let's go. Green light. It's especially beautiful at night. They've got some beautiful lights along the sides of the roads in the trees. Got our Don Quixote here. And actually, there's a massive Ferris wheel in the building right there, if you can see that. Another really popular intersection. We're gonna stop and cross over here. Beep boop. Beep boop. And we've actually got a main, we call it Central Park here. Everything is Central Park and they just recently re-renovated it. It's really beautiful. I've only been here, I think one or two times since they've we re-renovated everything. This is Nagoya Tower right here. And let's walk through here really quick. Yeah, there's always a lot of people waiting in line at some new shop, new venue, new attraction. It's a pretty common sight you'll see in Japan, but check that out, you can see Everyone is just lined up like crazy over there. I'm guessing, yeah, it's a live performance or some new restaurant. But yeah, this is the map for the new Central Park. All this used to not be here. There literally used to be nothing here, just the tower and a lot of emptiness. But now it's turned into this like really popular gathering spot. So you can get some different food here. You can go shopping and it's really cool. Check that out. I think there's a hotel in there, a restaurant up there and co-working space as well. I haven't gone inside yet, but it's just cool looking at it from the outside as well. We gotta get our video, our picture for our video today. Pose. Okay. And yeah, check this out. <laughs> this water is like only not even a centimeter. It's just like running water on the ground here. It's, I thought it was like a pond or a little fountain or something at first, but there's almost no water. <laughs> so I guess it's really beautiful here at night. I haven't come here at night yet. We've been wanting to come out and hang out at these places, but it's still uh, a little risky. We're trying to avoid going out in public as much as possible. 
But that's okay, we're just passing by really quick here right now. We're not eating anything. But I do want to come here hopefully one day and test out some of the new food locations. Okay, Hiko. All right, let's continue on with our ride. Oh, here we go. Hamburger shop, that looks good. Here we go. This is the other part of Sakai Oasis 21. This used to be the main attraction here, but now it's kind of getting overshadowed by this place. So we're going to cross over here, get back on the main road. Jeez. That guy's in a hurry. Here we go. We got some of the bus stops here. Time to start making our way back home. There's the Ferris wheel again. Oh, that's fun. They got a, a counter over there with the number of seconds until you cross, so you know exactly. 20. And, uh, 15. 15. Five. Five. Oh, yeah. Five. And zero. Okay. I think these are the, the new rental bikes here in the downtown city area, those red chari. Chari means bicycle. But they recently started like a, a sharing bicycle program down here. That's really cool to see people riding those. And we're gonna turn left here. So now we're gonna be heading east, a straight shot to our home. We actually live on this road. <laughs> so it's a straight shot just on this road. Really easy for us to get down here. Just got to wait at all the, all the red lights. Oh, this one's okay though. This one's a pedestrian crossing, so we can pedestrian across. Just be really careful. McDonald's. This is really fun. I really miss doing these city rides. nice getting this break from work just sort of reset although we're still working we're filming all these videos but it's a different kind of work this kind of work is fun really enjoy doing these videos Aww. and filming more other cycling videos here There's a big difference between going to work because you have to go to work and working because you, you want to do that work. So, of course, I, I like teaching. I enjoy it. But doing it full time, there are certain days and like especially after day after day when you just you want to sleep in. You don't always want to go in. But with YouTube, at least, like it's not my full time job or anything. So I can just film videos when I want to. If I don't feel like filming any videos, I won't film anything for a while. So it's nice not having that pressure. Sometimes it's healthy to take a break when you need to. Sometimes these cars like to drive really fast here to try and make some of the lights ahead. They know if they speed, they might be able to make one light further than they normally would. 
so you got to be pretty careful about those. But for the most part, this road is pretty safe. Once you know the timing of the lights, you know the safe places to ride. What's this? Are these the fish eggs? Looks yummy. And this is Shin Sakai, the next station over. Oh, some of the restaurants are changing. I think they used to have a taco restaurant over here that's not there anymore. That's too bad. Tunshan's gonna take the lead. It's been quite windy lately. We're getting a pretty heavy crosswind right now. It's been raining a lot, unfortunately, during this break, so today was one of the few sunny days. That's why we wanted to go out for a nice ride around the city, film some videos. But yeah, this wind has been nasty. Oh, what's this? <laughs> she done a... Fit house. Oh, we've been passing a lot of Indian curry restaurants on today's ride. Now I really want Indian curry. But tonight we're going to be eating yakisoba. Tunshan cooked some yakisoba yesterday. So we've got some leftovers waiting for us back home. That's nice. We can just get home, eat a delicious meal. Don't have to worry about cooking. On this ride home, we do have some hills. We're climbing right now. So it's a bit of a decline into the city for us and then a bit of a climb to get out of the city. The cities are usually built in like the most flat areas in Japan, away from the mountains. So generally, as you get away from the cities in Japan, you're gonna start going uphill. Another nice little park here. And this is, they call this the Indian Steakhouse. Uh, I'm not sure why they chose that name or mascot. India Steakhouse. Oh, so, ne? Yeah. Twin Chen loves her steak. Oh my god, check out that massive steak what? next what? to like the the mountains, the orange mountains over there.
those guys in front of the, the roads there are pretty common. They'll usually stand in front of the exits of like parking garages. So it prevents accidents from them hitting like pedestrians or cyclists going by. You can't always rely 100% on them because sometimes they don't always pay attention, but it's better than nothing. We've got another Don Quixote here. It's like kind of like the superstore of just everything random in Japan. And you can get some really funny things there. Una casita? Yes. 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 So it's actually a three lane road right now, which are pretty, not too common here in Japan. And the left lane is usually pretty empty because lots of cars will be parked, like temporarily emergency parked in this lane. So not many people use this lane or people will be turning. So generally they'll stick with the right two lanes. So it ends up being pretty safe for the most part. There are a few jerks that try and like use this as a passing lane, like that guy. <laughs> that was good timing. But you can see he's trying to accelerate, but he is turning up there, so at least he's using the lane. There's some people who, who try and turn back right after passing. What's this? This is a hoka poka. I've never eaten there before, but it looks like they're just a normal like bento restaurant kind of shop. But this is where you gotta be careful over here. This guy's parked here. That's okay. You just gotta be careful the car's coming behind you when you're going in that narrow pass. Oh wow, yeah, this, this light is technically straight only, so that guy's stuck there waiting to turn left. So when we got to go around that, that's a little dangerous. As long as there's no cars behind us speeding, we're okay. Always look back, try and make eye contact if you can. Keep it safe. So I'm often asked on the channel as well, like what I think about like city riding, where's the safest place to ride? And we can actually go here, let's get the, the pedestrians. Tuncha is going to go that way, <laughs> although this way. But I actually really like both. Like I think they both have their good points and negative points. So countryside riding, of course, you get more freedom. You get some nice scenery. You don't have too many cars, hopefully, depending on where you're riding. But city riding you get a lot of interesting sights you may see some interesting people you may find something new that you haven't found before and there's kind of like unlimited different roads you can take so it's really fun you can just <laughs> wing it like I, I like to just turn on random roads that I haven't tried before and it's always an adventure you can find something new but countryside roads are usually pretty limited there's not too many different paths you can take to each their own I think and I like both that's why I really like living on the edge of the city where we live now, because we can come this way, we can come to the city, we can keep going this way, the other way, and go straight into the countryside. Best of both worlds. But I don't think city riding is necessarily dangerous. If you get used to it, you know how to handle your bike and know what to look out for. It can be pretty safe, I think. That being said, the cars in Japan tend to pass pretty close. I'm not sure what that car is doing behind us. One of the 
most dangerous things I've found is cars that will pass you and then try and turn immediately. That happens quite often, so I'm always cautious when the car is passing me. I'm not sure if they do it like with ill intention or they just honestly don't know that like the speed is pretty similar between their car and the bike. But it's happened many times. Yeah, we were hoping to make that light, but that car was just going without stopping, unfortunately. Oh, that was a yellow. Better safe than sorry. We had time to stop. We've got another Starbucks here. And this road does go along the subway line, so there's lots of subway stations along this path we're going. That's why there's a lot of businesses around, because they get the traffic from the subway. And here we go, we got a nice downhill. Got another pretty crowded intersection here. Always got to be careful here. Lots of cars parked <laughs> to do their shopping. It's still pretty amazing to me how so many people do that. They'll just emergency park on a main road like this so they can go shopping. We got another Starbucks in this intersection. They like monopolize every intersection <laughs> on this road. Here we go, we're gonna be climbing a little bit again. This road is called Higashi Yamadori. Higashi means east, Yama Mountain Dori Street. So East Mountain Street.
this is one of the, the garbage bins, by the way, so they keep these on the side of the road. So you can throw your garbage in there and it's not gonna be uh, messed up by some crows or wild animals or anything like that. Some places will just cover it with a net or something like that, but some places have a proper like cage like this. Here we are to the right of us. This is the zoo, Higashiyama Zoo. It's the main zoo here in Nagoya. We've also got a botanical garden. So Tung has filmed many videos there. And here we go, we got our hill. This is one of our big hills. Not too bad though. And this road so far is really nice. It's got the shoulder as well as the three lanes, so plenty of space. But you do gotta be extra careful when there's cars parked in this lane and you gotta go around them. These are the, the nets I was talking about earlier with the garbage. They generally keep them outside and when there's garbage, they'll throw it under the net and that way the crows can't get to it. There's a big crow problem in Japan and they love garbage. So this is one of the dangerous situations. Look back, make sure we have the road and pass, get back over. Always gotta be careful you don't get doored as well. That's one of my biggest fears. We were pretty close that time. We should have kept more distance. This is a sports center over here, by the way. Each different region or city has its own sports center. This one's pretty big. The one in our town is pretty small, actually. But we're technically like countryside, borderline countryside. Lots of cars parked here. I think there's a school nearby here as well. And yeah, lots of people picking up people from the gym. Starting to get kind of dark out, so probably a good idea to put on our lights now. I guess we'll do that at our next stop. Spice House, Indian restaurant. Wow, we're passing so many Indian restaurants today. All right, we gotta, we gotta get some Indian food pretty soon. Not tonight, because we've already got our food ready, but maybe tomorrow we'll get some Indian takeout. That was pretty dangerous. In times like that, it's best to just take over the whole lane. Don't let them pull that crap.
All right, we're almost done with this last big hill. Actually, I think we have one more small little hill after this, but that's okay. Get a workout. The nice thing about climbing is you always get a nice view. We can see off in the distance, we can see some of the mountains over there. That's the other nice thing about living over on the edge of the city is we have access to those mountains, which are really fun. Unless you hate climbing, then it's a pretty torturous. All right, we got Tunchan's light on. Hope it's not a distraction in the video, but safety first. All right, guys, we're just about home. So we're going to finish up this video here. Hope you guys enjoy these longer style ride videos. If you do, please be sure to give the video a like and check out our playlist for some of our other ride videos here in Japan. Thanks as always for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time here on Two Wheel Cruise. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.